Hi, I'm Paul Brody. We're doing something really, really different now because usually I'm fabricating or fixing something or in my shop here. This is going to be a collaboration and at this point you don't know who it is, but I'm quite excited about this and it's been kind of leading up to this for a few months now. It started at the end of June. There was a viewer, his name is Expendable Hero, and apparently he saw some of our videos and he saw some of this other gentleman's videos and he suggested to me in the comments that I might like to do a collaboration. And so I said, sure, nothing like this has ever happened. And then he, he also mentioned to this other gentleman that uh, I was interested in a, a collaboration possibly. So the other gentleman contacted me through email and we've had some phone calls and that's kind of how it's evolved. So it started with a viewer named Expendable Hero. I have no idea where he is or who he is. So we were having conversations, this other gentleman and I, and we were talking about what we could possibly do. Now, we both had an interest in bicycles and motorcycles, and it was suggested to me that maybe we should buy a pocket bike. Those are those really small bikes. Often they have the small tires on it. And we both have an interest in, have an interest in 1960s road races. We like the shapes and I did go vintage racing and, and so we, we thought they, there could be something that we could do. So what was sent to me is an image and you can see it. It's a 60, 60s racer and superimposed over that is a trellis frame off a Ducati. So, so the idea was that because of our fabrication skill sets, not to give anything away here, I could do work on the frame and this other gentleman might be working on, on some body parts or other things like that. It didn't work out because it was going to be a lot of work and a bunch of money and it would probably take six months. That's not what we wanted. We wanted to work together on something but not get bogged down in, in, in the complexity of a project that is way beyond a simple collaboration. So that's kind of the basic of what we did. So I came up with an idea. It became obvious after a while that it was not going to be easy to find a project that suited both of us and didn't take up a huge amount of time, energy and money. So. I came up with the idea of making a trophy where we could each make a contribution and it would look something like this, basically a bit like a wedding cake and there was layers involved and so there's six layers and there's two of us so we each get a layer. So the, the even numbers, two, four and six, that could be the most desirable because the person that gets the even numbers ends up with the top, which could be the showpiece, but if you do a bad job, doesn't matter. So that's what we came up with. And who gets what? We decided we would do a coin toss. The person who wins the coin toss gets to decide which layers they want, even or odd. What's going to happen to the trophy is that I don't need a trophy. The other gentleman, he does not need a trophy. We would raffle it off. And so you, the viewer, get one entry per video. So it's going to be four, four videos. And you enter in the comments. You just write trophy, trophy. That's all you do. But you get to enter once per, per video. That's it. And you can enter on our channel or the other gentleman's channel. Your choice. All right, I hope that makes sense. I think this is going to be an interesting project because I've never done anything like this before. And we'll find out if we work well together on a collaboration such as this. Thanks for tuning in. Ron? 
morning, Paul. Great to talk to you. Yes, we've done emails and phone calls and now a little FaceTime and we have to do a coin toss, I understand. I've described to the viewers what's going on with this collaboration and the trophy and how to enter and things like that. So yes, I think That's we can great. do a coin toss. Okay, I'm shaping the coin right now and throwing it down on the table. Heads. You call it. Heads. You lose. <laughs> the coin reads tails. That's, that's great. That's fine. So I'm going to choose the odd layer. Oh. Uh, base layer, layer okay. number three, and layer number five. Okay. So that gives you the primo layer to do, the very top one and the, the alternate ones. I'll accept that challenge. All right. Well, we're going to have a ball with this. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this. I've never done anything like this before and uh, looking forward to it soon. So thank you, Ron, okay. for being part of this collaboration. It's my, my pleasure, believe me. Okay, you take care and we'll be in touch. All right. Thanks again, Paul. Bye-bye. Bye. As you can see, we're doing a collaboration with Ron Covell. I've liked his, his videos and his work for quite some time now. He is, he is the master with sheet metal. And uh, I'm excited about this. That's, that's the truth. And I think we can come up with something that's unique. And I think it's really great that one of the viewers is going to end up with the trophy. Because I, I got lots of trophies. And, uh, how to enter it's trophy trophy you just go to the comments that's all you got to write and you're entered you get one entry per episode and you can also enter on ron's because i think what's going to happen is we're going to do a, a coin toss to see which hat hat the winner gets selected out of my hat or ron's hat and if you're in both hats you don't lose it's a win-win situation Thank you very much for watching. Mitch and I like coffees. If you buy us coffees, it helps the flow of the channel. And we have merchandise. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. It became obvious after a while that it was not easy to choose a project that suited me and Ron and... <laughs>